Hi, I'm Ted. In this video, we'll take a look at an example configuration of an infrared remote for a Myth TV using Myth Ubuntu control panel. And in this example, I have a TiVo Romeo remote, and I have an infrared receiver. And step one will be, which I've already done, is to plug in the USB cord and boot up the computer. Next, I want to go ahead and start with Ubuntu control panel. Head over to the remotes tab. Hit enable IR key table. Type in your password. And let that install. Look after that installs, this list should be populated with key code files and this list should be a, a TiVo file. There it is. So we're going to copy that to the home folder. Okay now in the home folder now there's a TiVo file. Let's go ahead and open this thing. So by default one example of the uh, numeric keys. Numeric needs to be taken out. Um, it needs to say key one instead of numeric one. And that's one thing um, MCP does. Let's go ahead and go back here. Select it. Say automatically modify it. Apply. Apply. Okay, so let's go look at that file again. Now the numeric is gone. It says key one. Okay, let's go back here. We're going to temporarily set it active. Hit apply. Hit apply. Password. Okay. It's temporarily set active for testing. Okay, now let's start the um, terminal. Okay. Now for testing, I want to type in sudo ir key table and test. And the password. Okay, now I want to set the infrared receiver down below here. Get the remote, test, point that at it, hit a number. So when I press the 7 key, I see key 7 here, as expected. That's successful. To get out of here, we just press Control C. And now I want to go back to MCP. And set it permanent. Okay. The next thing we want to do is reboot. Okay, I have rebooted. Let's start up Myth TV and check the remote. Get the remote here. Hitting down. Down, down, down. Let's hit live TV. Try to hit a number. One, two, three. Is it working? Um, clear for escape works. And that takes care of that. Let's exit out of here. Okay, let's bring up the home folder again. Let's go over manual um, configuration. Now, if we open this here and you look at the scan codes, there is no scan code in, in this case, in this example, for the green button. So let's say we want to map that green button to go back to the previous channel, which in Myth TV by default would be key H. So what we want to do is start up the test again in hierarchy table. Okay, so let's press the green button. Okay, so there is no key assigned, um, but we do have the scan code. So we're going to hit Control C, and we're going to make a new line here. We're going to copy the scan code from the terminal. Going to replace the scan code on the line I just copied. 
we're going to go to key, change that to key H. We're going to hit save. Okay. We're going to start up the Ubuntu control panel again. Okay, we're going to go to remote. We're going to have this selected again. Temporarily set it. Apply. Okay. Let's quit that. Let's go back to the terminal and test. Okay, we're going to hit the same green key. Okay, so now this time... The key is correctly assigned, key H, to that scan code. So that concludes that test. If we want to make that permanent, we can use MCP to uh, set that uh, for continued use with that update. And that concludes this video. Thanks a lot for watching.